What is up, guys? Nate here. Uh, reached 200 subscribers not too long ago, and I feel like it's time to do a contest. Uh, hopefully, I get a bunch of responses. Pretty excited about this. Um, I think it's a pretty, pretty good mile mark. I mean, 200. Quite a few people. Um, you know, hopefully they enjoy and watch my videos and and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna see go through what you have to do for the contest first off. Then I'm gonna tell you what you can win, and then I'm gonna do my response and kind of talk about my thing. Um, so there's a couple things I want you to do. First, make a video, uh, video response to this video, and. Uh, I don't know, title it whatever you want. Um, if you can't make videos, I'm sorry. Uh, but I mean, should be some way you figure it out. Um, first thing I want you to tell me in your video, um, this is going to kind of be shop related. Uh, kind of doesn't have to necessarily be about knife making. Um, this could be any. Uh, you know, anything shop related. So the first thing I want you to show me is your favorite tool, um, which I think everybody probably has uh, their kind of favorites, uh, what they use the most, what they appreciate the most. Um, and I think, well, I might as well just tell you mine now. I think mine would have to be probably my belt sander. Uh, it's shitty and it's tiny but I think it gets the most use out of any of my tools by far. Um, that and the drill press, even though that one sucks, so I hate it. Uh, but I don't know, some of your favorite tools we'll talk about it a little bit. Um, next thing I want you to tell me is, I want you to, or I want you to show me some like homemade tools you have, like some, some jigs you made or some little, um, like I made, the other day, this uh, just cut a thing in this piece of wood to push the handle off of a hidden tang knife. Um, over here, I have rigged up uh, my angle grinder attached to uh, a mount here, so I can just use it really easily. Um, I don't know, uh, just stuff like that. Um, like I made this jig for sanding. Um, I don't know. I have other stuff laying around. just can't think of it at the moment. Um, so show me like a jig or something you've made. And then kind of on the same lines, but not exactly, I want you to show me a couple of tips and tricks for just anything in the shop. doesn't have to be knife making related. It could be leather work, woodworking, uh, paper doll making. I don't really care. It just got to be um, something... Uh, you know, shop related, some some sort of skill. Um, kind of a couple tips and tricks I want to share. Uh, how I, you know, if you work with G10 and stuff, you need to oil it pretty often, and it, you know after you grind it and whatnot. So what I do is I just stuck a rag in this bag and poured some mineral oil in, and I just kind of let it just chill there. And whenever I need to oil something, or if I need to oil a knife blade or anything like that, I just take this rag out uh, and rub it rub it down. I mean, as you can see, it'll uh, leave a nice little coat of oil on there, just a little bit. Now you can't really see it on there, but um, it even works for like knife blades and stuff. You just get a little, like just a thin enough coat of oil on there. I'll be showing you this later. Um, just really useful. Um, Another thing, when working with a Kite Express, I use two different clamps. Um, kind of show you here. I use one of these quick grips, and I use a C clamp. Um, so what I do when I'm making a Kydex sheath, I heat up the uh, the Kydex, you know, heat it up and whatnot, put it in there, and then I put the quick grip on and tighten it down a bit. And then I put the C clamp on and tighten it down a lot. And this Get the, the quick grip gives you immediate pressure on there, so you get a good print most of the time. But also, well, I put the C-clamp on and then crank it down super tight. Um, but then when I'm taking it off is where this really makes a difference. So say there's a bunch of pressure on this, your C-clamp is pressed down really tight, and to get it loose, you would have to crank it a whole bunch. 
But what I do is I take a quick grip, and while it's clamped down, I tighten the quick grip onto it, nice and tight, you know, not not compressing it anymore because it should be compressed as far as it can go with the C-clamp. But once when you put the quick grip on there, you only have to turn the C-clamp maybe a couple turns before it'll come loose and you can take it off. And then to loosen it up, you just pull the thing on the quick grip and it loosens. So it saves you a lot of time when you're taking these clamps off. You don't have to sit there and crank it for, you know, 20 minutes to get it uh, off of there. But I don't know, show me a couple of tips and tricks like that. Just, uh, you know, simple things. Um, you got to be 18 or over, of course. Um, also, I would like to see your face in the video, if possible. Um, I just want to know who you know, is entering, um, just to make sure everybody is over 18, or looks over 18 at least, because um, I don't want to, you know, be responsible for any of that. I am sending out knives, so, um, yeah. I'm going to go, uh, or I'm just going to show you what you can win now. I'm going to go third place to first place. Obviously, if you win first and you want something else, or you win second and you want the third place prize, just tell me and that will be arranged, but uh, third place, I'm going to be giving away the Sog Flash 1, um, which has been convex, um, so it's really, really sharp, um, and then I made this little Kydex uh, neck sheath for it, or you could tie it onto your belt or whatever, but snaps into there really well, not going anywhere, um, but you could win this. Um, Second place is going to be a Spyderco Persistence uh, that I straightened the back spine on and rounded um, and uh, put a, a pretty decent convex edge on there. Not super blended, but it's super sharp. Um, I think that this is a better shape for the blade for this knife for sure. Uh, I don't like the, the wideness of it when it's closed. It rides a lot better in the pocket and stuff. Um, I was going to stone wash this blade, but uh, I'll be making a video about that later. The stone washer doesn't uh, work super well, but I made. Got to rethink it. But um, you can win this. Or, first place, I'm going to be giving away the uh, this Zim Seed. This is a number three um, with Buffalo Horn, Osage, Osage Orange, and Buffalo Horn, and then Blue G10. Um, I reworked the knife a little bit, um, changed up the pattern a bit in the G10. I think it looks pretty nice now. Kind of random, um, but evenly random. Uh, and then I thinned out this scale a bit. It used to be real fat, but now it's a nice slim, slim package. Still super comfortable, nicely rounded and polished. Um, comes with this leather sheath that a uh, friend of mine made. Uh, this is one of his nicer pieces. Um, not the best rivets or anything, but it's functional, and uh, one and a half inch belts will fit through, and it doesn't really move around, and there isn't a ton of retention, but uh, I don't know, this is what comes in. You can make another sheath if you want. I'm uh, going to sharpen the sharpen it up and finish the blade a little bit more before I send it out, but this is uh, handmade custom by me. Um, it's 1095, part into... 60RC uh, by P Peter's Heat Treat, um, so it's pretty hard, but it's uh, really sharp chisel ground with a convex convex bevel on the back side. Gives it a really strong edge, but it's still super sharp. Um, this one has been used a bit, but I'm going to sharpen it up before I send it out, of course. Not going to send out a dull knife. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so you got the rules, uh, for the most part, make a video, um, show me some shop stuff, anything else you want to throw in, any little tips and tricks or any of that, um, I just think it'll be good for everybody to have, um, you know, a video or a bunch of videos with uh, tips and tricks because I feel like everybody's got their own little, you know, quirky things they figure out and it would just help, help out everybody, I think, a lot if, uh, you know, we shared it all. Um, but again, I want to thank you guys. Um, I've won so much stuff in contests on YouTube and, and it's just a really awesome feeling. I think it really, everybody can have a lot of fun with it. It really creates a lot of, um, 
a lot of, I don't know, buzz in the knife community, a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, community, I guess. Creates a lot of community. You get, you get to know people. You get to hear them talk. And I don't know. I just want to give back because I've, you know, learned so much from everybody on YouTube and, uh, and been given so much, you know, knowledge and physical objects that it's, I feel like I need to give back. It's, it's been long enough, so uh, here you go, guys. I'm excited to see all your video responses. Hopefully we can share some good information and uh, all get better at what we do or what we love to do. So uh, that's all. Thanks again, guys. Peace.